are Anime Fest 2018 in association with New York Comic Con. Chris Cologne of the Tsunami Faithful Podcast at TsunamiFaithful.com. Here I am with voice actors Amanda Miller and Colleen O'Shaughnessy. So how's your con going so far? It's been great. Yeah, it's really fun. Now, Amanda, uh, you finally got a, you got the lead role in Baruto. How did that come about? Uh, well, I got an audition from the casting director because it's the same people who uh, I work on Sailor Moon with them. So the casting director knew my voice and he sent me an audition. I recorded it in my closet and then I emailed it back. It's where I record all my auditions. It's my little walk-in closet because uh, the clothes absorb all the sound, so it makes a good recording studio. And yeah, so I sent it in a couple weeks later. They're like, hey, you booked it. And then the next day we were working on the video game. So, so like, just write it right Yeah, this, he's this like, hey, congratulations, you got this. We need to start now. Oh, okay. So, And where do they record? Is it- uh, in Burbank, oh, Studi- at Studiopolis. Oh, okay, so. gotcha. Now, um, Colleen, uh, you, had, you had done Digimon for a few years. Or, or a million years ago. <laughs> That was my very first anime that I ever did, was Digimon. It was on the job training. I had no idea what I was doing. And now you're back as Sora. Yep. How's that? It's awesome. I, I, you know, I was in New Zealand um, doing a, a convention there, and somebody asked me about it. They're like, and this was, I can't remember, like three years ago or something like that. And they asked me about it, and they're like, you know, are you going to be in the Digimon Tri movies? And I'm like... I don't even know what that is, but if they ask me, absolutely. And so, you know, and then all of a sudden it was kind of the same thing. Like, hey, by the way, come in and work on Digimon tomorrow. I'm like, what? I had no idea, but everybody else knew before I did. <laughs> now, both of you are on shows that are on Tsunami. Uh, were you were you fans of Tsunami in the past, or? I grew up with it. Um, I was an L fifth grade when the sh- when Tsunami came out and I was watching, you know, Gundam Wing, Dragon Ball Z, all that stuff, Sailor Moon. So it is pretty crazy to be a lead character in a show that is now on it. It's like full circle. Yeah. I'm older than you think, so oh. <laughs> that's not my generation. <laughs> oh. I won't tell you how old I am, but... You look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well preserved. <laughs> it's all this mummified. Uh, <laughs> mummified. <laughs> Are there any other, for the anime fans out there, are there any other upcoming projects that you want to kind of give us a hint about? Or In the anime world, for me, um, from Boruto, that just came out, just started last week. The last yeah, week it premiered last week on Tsunami. Which is awesome. Uh, I played Chocho. Um, Naruto is finishing up. I can't believe it. We're, we're going to have 720 episodes, I think. It's wow. bananas. Um, It's out, it's, out, it's out there, I don't know what that is, but, or where it's playing, but the rest I can't talk about. Right, <laughs> they make us sign these NDAs, so it's like not, we can't really talk about most of the stuff. But, uh, I mean, I have some stuff with like DreamWorks and Disney, I think I can say that much, but I can't say what they are. Oh, okay. They'll be coming soon. Somewhere in the future. To some sort of platform <laughs> Yes, at you. some point. Because <laughs> animation always takes like two years to do, so it's like... And, and, and animation fans in general tend to uh, tend to you know bleed over and you know DreamWorks and uh, and you were also on Danny Phantom yep as the sister uh-huh. <laughs> and any experiences from there that, you want to share? that was one of the most fun um, recording experiences ever so first of all you're at Nickelodeon which is a blast you walk in and it's like all these primary colors and there's like the hits of chocolate and like it's just so much fun like the best working atmosphere ever and then the cast itself so when you do anime you're here and there by yourself and you have your director or engineer on the other side of the glass but you're recording alone and you read just your lines and there's not a lot of give and take and as an actor it's so much more fulfilling but it is it's kind of more it's just it's just a very different experience and so we recorded Danny Phantom as a group record so we got to have the entire cast there doing it together and it was a blast we just laughed our faces off and it was so much fun I mean I got to work with you know Rob Paulson and Great Wild and just like it was just we, we had a blast we had so much fun now had you come across people cosplaying as your characters yes yeah which is fun yeah yeah yeah, I was just at Dragon Con, and um, they, I, I had, there was a wasp, and a couple of Soras, and a Tails, and um, 
there were a couple Danny Phantoms, but we didn't see any Jens. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I see people cosplaying as like Boruto or Sailor Jupiter, and uh, and then Junko. I forgot about Junko. She's a big character from a video game who's like everybody. Everybody loves to cosplay as her. They haven't always seen the the thing, but they just know that she's so cool. They're like, I haven't even seen it, but she looks so cool. I have to cosplay as her. I'm like, that speaks to the character, I guess, that she's so cool. It's, it, it goes, yeah, it's, it, it goes beyond right. the video game fans. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you guys for taking a, a couple moments with us, uh, you know, out of your schedule. I know it's kind of crazy. Uh, we're going to let you guys uh, go. Once again, this is Chris Colon, Amanda Miller, and Colleen O'Shaughnessy uh, at Anime Fest uh, 2018 in association with New York Comic Con.